welcome to AC Electronics. In today's video, we'll be seeing some numerical questions from electrostatics. This is a very important topic from electromagnetic theory. We have already done the formula revision video of this subject or this topic. So you can uh, now do the numerical questions. You can see the numerical questions in this video. And also you can directly download the notes of this video. And the link is given in description box. From there, you can download the notes. Okay, so uh, I really hope that you'll be finding the questions useful. If yes, please do give it a thumbs up and also please do like share and we subscribe. We are going to see the numerical questions from electrostatics. We have already done the formula revision of electrostatics. We will be discussing the numerical questions in this video. The first question is calculate the energy in an electric field with flux density 6 units and field density 4 units. Okay so you need to find energy. The equation for energy is u. You can either uh, use u or w to represent energy. We generally use u energy u equal to half epsilon e square or you can write half epsilon into e into e epsilon e is equal to flux density right so it is d into e so this is the equations for finding the energy you can either use this equation uh, it can be epsilon zero also if it is air or vacuum okay so half epsilon e square and u equal to half d into e if it is in terms of the flux density and the electric field intensity you can use this equation so directly here the flux density and the electric field intensities are given so just substitute the values in this second equation and find the energy half d is 6 into 4 Okay, that is 12 units. It is 12 joule is the energy unit. Anyway, since it is given as units, you can write U equal to 12 units or it is 12 joule. Okay, so this is the two equations for finding the energy in the electric field. Okay, so here you need to find the energy in an electric field and the flux density and electric field intensity is given. So you have to use this equation. If only the electric field intensity is given and you know epsilon zero means you can use the first equation also okay the second question is find the electric field intensity of two charges two coulomb and minus one coulomb separated by one meter so all the given uh, all the required informations are given in the question you just need to find the the value for electric field intensity first we'll write the equation for force all these equations we have discussed in the formula revision video okay so f equal to q1 q2 by 4 pi epsilon 0 into 1 by r square so while discussing the f equation i have written as r2 minus r1 by r2 minus r1 mod cube right so if you solve this is actually vector form if you solve it and uh, if you write in normal variable form you will be getting 1 by r square okay so this is the equation you have to apply in numericals okay q1 q2 by 4 pi epsilon 0 into 1 by r square here two charges are being given two coulomb and minus one coulomb so that value is known 1 by 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 the value should be known to you i'll write the value 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 equal to 9 into 10 raised to 9 newton meter square per coulomb square okay so this is the unit this is the value you should be knowing this 9 into 10 raised to 9 newton meter square per coulomb square 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 because in order to uh, solve the numerical type of questions you cannot always go for this simplification you can directly use this value okay please note it somewhere in your formula revision book or your uh, notebook the value for 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 is 9 into 10 raised to 9 okay anyway i hope you have noted it so the next thing is r r is also given in the question so you can directly find the value of the field sorry the force okay so I'm going to substitute 2 into minus 1 by, okay, I won't write 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0. I'll directly write 9 into 10 raised to 9 by R is 1 meter. Directly it is given in meter itself. So 1 square is again 1. You'll get minus 18 into 10 raised to 9. It is force. The unit is Newton. Okay. So this is your force. Now, we don't need force. We need the value for electric field intensity so electric field in to find the electric field intensity e and we are going to calculate the electric field intensity at the two coulomb okay 
So E equal to F by 2 column or 2. So it is 18 into 10 raised to 9 by 2 which is equal to 9 into 10 raised to 9 volt per meter is your electric field. Okay. So this is the electric field at 2 coulomb. Okay. So I hope uh, it is clear. First you need to find the force and then go for your electric field or directly you can uh, find the value for the electric field. You have to uh, consider that at which charge you want to find your electric field. Then you have to divide by that charge. Okay, here I have uh, found the electric field at 2 coulombs. So it is 9 into 10 raised to 9 volt per meter. Okay, or, you, or, if, it, or it is, if it is specifically given in the question, find the electric field intensity at 2 coulomb. And if the two charges are separated by this meter, means you have to divide the force by that charge. Okay, here I have taken the 2 coulombs and I have found the electric field at the 2 coulombs. So I have divided by 2. I hope it is clear. Okay, so the value is 9 into 10 raised to 9 volt per meter field intensity due to an infinite sheet of charge density sigma is dash that this is a directly direct question asking the formula of the electric field intensity due to an infinite sheet charge so now i hope that uh, you have uh, observed the importance of the equations also okay so you should be thorough with all the electric field intensity equations which we have discussed in the formula revision video okay so directly the equations can ask in the question so uh, here, you need to find the electric field intensity of an infinite sheet charge. We have directly discussed the equation that is sigma by 2 epsilon where sigma is the charge density and epsilon is the permittivity. Now, the next, the second question is also related to this infinite sheet topic or area. The question is find the flux density of a sheet of charge density 25 units in air. Okay, so we'll first write the equation for electric field. The electric field here, it is given that a sheet of charge, in, charge density 25 units in air. So we'll consider it as an infinite sheet charge. Okay, so we'll first write the equation for electric field in density E equal to sigma by 2 epsilon. The just before question we have discussed was actually this equation. The, this question was asking the electric field intensity and that is sigma by 2 epsilon where sigma is the charge intensity that is given in the question. Epsilon is the permittivity. Now this question is not asking the electric field intensity. It is asking the flux density that is denoted by the variable D and D is equal to epsilon into electric field intensity which is this so we'll substitute the value for e here epsilon into sigma by 2 epsilon we'll cancel out the epsilons both epsilons and you will get d equal to charge density sigma by 2 charge density is given here you can see 25 units okay so d equal to 25 by 2 that is equal to 12.5 and the unit for your flux density is coulomb per meter square is the unit for flux density okay i hope the units are uh, also i have discussed in the formula revision video so i'll explain the question once again in this question you need to find the flux density and the equation for flux density is d is equal to epsilon into e where e is the electric field intensity and that is given by sigma by 2 epsilon you will substitute e here as sigma by 2 epsilon you will cancel out the epsilon and you will get it it is sigma by 2 and the sigma is nothing but the charge density uh, whose value is directly given in your question directly substitute 25 by 2 which is 12.5 coulomb per meter square is the flux density the next question is this, if the radius of a sphere is 1 by 4 pi meter and the electric flux density is 16 pi units, the total flux is given by dash. Okay, so there is a lot of questions, numerical questions connecting the flux density, flux electric field density uh, and uh, the force, electric field. So all these, the Coulomb's law, all these are very important, especially when going for competitive examination. Those, that's why I've included these many questions. Okay, 
so this question is asking the total flux the previous question was connecting to the flux density now here you need to find the total flux so here i'll read the question if the radius of the sphere is 1 by 4 pi meter and the electric flux density is 16 pi units so the flux density is given to you and the radius of the sphere is given to you you need to find the total flux what is the equation for total flux total flux equal to flux density into area this is a very simple equation for finding the total flux so in the formula revision video we have written the equation as psi equal to integral d dot ds now i'll explain it this is nothing but area over i mean integration over the surface d is the flux density ds is the area i hope you cannot see it okay so this is area so ds is the area so the, in terms of integration if the formula you are writing it will be this psi which is the total flux is equal to integration over the surface d dot ds so flux flux is actually the the measure of electric fields passing through a surface okay so that is the total flux so here in order to find the total flux we have to actually multiply the flux density and the area so this is a sphere so first we need to find the area of the sphere then we have to multiply that area with the flux density then we will be getting the total flux that is the concept okay so we don't need this integration equation we just require the normal equation connecting the two units so total flux we are going to find we have flux density directly given we will find out the area also okay so first we will find out what is the area of the sphere area of the sphere is 4 pi r square r is the radius 4 into pi into 1 by 4 pi square right so that is nothing but 16 square sorry 16 pi square yeah so this will be your total that is the to uh, the area of your sphere now you have the area you have the flux density then you can find the total flux right now i'm going to substitute in the equation of total flux total flux equal to flux density 16 pi right into 4 pi into 1 by 16 pi square this is your expression so we'll cancel out both the pi uh, with this pi square we'll cancel out this 16 and 16 and you will be getting total flux is equal to 4 and the unit is coulombs 4 c or 4 coulombs okay so this is your total flux so total flux you are going to find if you have the flux density and the area you just have to multiply the flux density and the area and if you don't have the area and then uh, some methods has been given or some measurement is given to find the area means first you have to find out the area then multiply that with the flux density then you will be getting the total flux here the answer is 4 coulombs. The next question is this what is the electric field? I have written E that is electric field density. Okay. So, what is the electric field density at a distance of 20 centimeters from a charge 2 into 10 raised to minus 6 coulombs in vacuum? So, here you need to find electric field density E. Directly, we will write the equation for E. So, electric field density equal to Q by 4 pi epsilon 0 into 1 by R square. So, here 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 is 9 into 10 raised to 9 into q is 2 into 10 raised to minus 6 coulomb into distance is given in centimeters okay it is 20 centimeters so r equal to 0.2 meter you have to convert centimeters to meter that is to all standard units so it is into 1 by 0.2 square if you solve it, you will be getting the value as 450 into 10 raised to 3 volt per meter. Okay, that is 450 into 10 raised to 3. You can write it as 450,000. Okay, so this is the value for your electric field intensity due to this charge at a point which is located at 
this distance 20 centimeter from that charge okay and the value is 450,000 volt per meter is a unit okay so these are the questions which i have included in this video i've tried to include a lot of questions from different varieties connecting different equations there's a lot of equation in electrostatics especially when you're going for competitive examinations a lot of questions can come connecting all these variable e uh, flux density total flux charge and all okay so try to practice a lot of questions if you are going to attempt any competitive examination and if you found the video useful please do give it a thumbs up and also share it with all your friends and if you want more videos please do subscribe to the channel